RadicalPrep.com. Okay, guys, how's it going? Uh, we're going to do a function question here, and it says, let the function g be defined by g of x, and it equals 6 minus 2x. If g of d equals 12, what is the value of 1 half g of 2d? Okay, so we have a lot going on here. Probably the first thing that I want to say to you or show you is that, actually, let me rewrite this real quick. We've got the equation. And the first thing I want to ask you is, let's just say I asked you to do g of 2. Would you know what to do? Would you know that once it's in the parentheses, that means plug that in for x, just put it in place there? So that would be 6 minus 2 times 2. And then you just get 6 minus 4, which is 2. So hopefully you know that if it's in the parentheses, you're just plugging into the equation. What, make this, well, what makes this problem a little bit harder is that they're saying g of d. They're actually plugging a variable in, and your answer is 12. So let's do that. Let's first figure out what the heck is g of d. Well, remember, just like the 2, I'm going to plug this d right into the equation. So that's going to be 6 minus 2d. Okay, and they told us that once you plug it in, it's equal to 12. So let's write that down. I'm just going to substitute that in, put the 12 there, and we've got 6 minus 2d. So now we can just solve this equation. I'm going to actually minus the 6 from both sides, minus the 6, that crosses out. We get 6 equals negative 2d. I'll divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and we get negative 3 equals d. So we've got a value for d here, and it's actually useful now because we can use that information to plug in to the next part of the equation. Okay, so let me just make some space here. The next part is, and this thing looks a little more, you know, a little bit more scary, a little bit monstrous. It's got this one half g of two d. I'm going to ignore the one half for now. Let's just let's just do g of two d. Okay, so what do we know d is? d is negative 3. So that's g of 2 times, fix that, negative 3. So that's g of negative 6. And again, just like before when I said, how do you do g of 2? You plug it into the original equation. I'm doing the same thing with g of negative 6. So we're going to plug it into our g of x equation. So that's going to be um, g of negative 6 equals 6 minus 2 times negative 6. Okay? So that's 6. Uh, negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. So now we've got 6 plus 12. And if you have a problem with that, just plug it into the calculator. You'll get the, the same answer. Okay, so we've got 18, right? So that means, remember, I just did this part. I found g of 2d, and that's 18. But what do we want to do at the end there? We want to take half of it. So half of 18 is equal to 9. Choice A. And you're done. And if you need any more help with these types of problems, visit my channel. That is www.radicalprep.com. Thanks a lot. Take care.